Thank you very much indeed for um, that very warm introduction. And uh, on behalf of De Montfort University, may I extend my welcome to uh, all of you today. Uh, as you'll tell from my voice, uh, immediately, I'm not from Leicester. When I came to Leicester five years ago um, to work at De Montfort University, it was immediately clear to me uh, what a special city this is. And when I walked in to the door of this marvellous building this morning for the first time since I've been in Leicester, and I walked into the room and uh, met many of you setting up the stalls uh, and uh, preparing for this event. Um, the warmth and engagement and community spirit that exists here in this city is truly something remarkable. And it gives me tremendous hope that that agenda, uh, the spirit of justice and peace uh, and equality that De Montfort University is signed up to, uh, the United Nations Charter, um, has every possibility of success in this city because of the very strong bonds that unite us and bring us together. And because those things which unite us, to coin a phrase, are stronger than those things which divide us. And I think that is why the success of this event today and um, the success of your individual groups um, is, is assured. And I'm very proud that we at De Montfort University are able to support this event and to carry it forward for the future. And I wish you a successful day in trying to um, find the pathways forward from today because this is the beginning of a journey and it's a journey that I hope uh, you can take, we can take together. Let me say a little bit about uh, my specific role. We've all had in mind the aftermath of the pandemic and lockdown and of the other very serious uh, national and global issues that are facing us today that affect the world at large but they also affect us in our own communities as well. In fact probably there's never been a time when uh, the international agenda whether that be peace or whether it be climate change and the environment whether those glo when those global issues have not also been felt so personally by so many of us at a local level, um, which is a challenge but also a strength for us to come together to address and tackle them. One of the responses to the pandemic that we've developed at DMU, among uh, several other things, is a new strand of research-based themes. And these themes take some of those global priorities and seek to explore and embed them locally and regionally within our communities. Um, there is a theme on lifelong well-being. There is a theme on social equality, uh, peace and justice. There is a theme on living in a digital society. There is a theme on net zero and climate action. And there is a theme which I personally lead with my colleague, Professor Rachel Granger, on creative and heritage industries. So, um, in introducing the themes, I'd like to say a little bit about their purpose generally, but then to say something specific about my own area of expertise and interest in cultural and 
uh, heritage industries. So the themes are designed uh, as we as a university must um, to pursue a research agenda across a broad area of subjects and disciplines. But our paymasters, our sponsors through um, UKRI, the UK's research um, uh, uh, infrastructure, is about delivering impact. Um, gone are the days where academics sat behind their desks and uh, wrote uh, books um, uh, on what are called blue sky subjects. Research these days for us must have impact. It must involve engagement. It must make a difference in the real world. And that's the motivation behind our research themes at DMU, to engage and to make a difference. But we can only do that. We can only be freed from our desks where we sit and write books and come into the community and engage uh, by building partnerships, by sponsoring events uh, and organisations such as COS, to carry these partnerships forward um, and to really develop a research agenda which does have an impact and which does make a difference. So that's what our research themes are about. In creative and heritage industries, we address um, a very important deficit that we perceive. We are all concerned in various ways with eradicating poverty in our society. And poverty exists. Poverty exists here in Leicester. But there's more than one kind of poverty. There is material poverty which is very serious. But there is also such a thing as cultural poverty. And culture, we believe, is as important as material well-being to a healthy, vibrant society and community. Culture is important to our lives. But what a rich cultural city Leicester is. We've got lots of raw materials, we've got lots of resources in our own hands, in our own communities, in our own groups and organisations um, that we can harness and we can develop and we can thrive upon, feed upon, to nourish our cultural lives. And more than ever, we believe that that is important. So um, the purpose of our research theme in creative and heritage industries is to build partnerships with organisations in the community, with the city council, with um, uh, uh, arts organisations and with broader cultural sector and the heritage sector to um, develop projects that are really going to make a difference to the community and enrich our cultural lives in Leicester. The advantages we have at the university are, are, are two things broadly. Is we have students. We have young people, uh, by and large, who are committed, engaged, excited, have tremendous energy. Uh, we can harness their energy and potential. And I've already had some conversations this morning with one or two people about the, the possibilities of that. To, to bring them on board and to get them involved. But the other thing we can do through research partnerships is we can apply for funding. We can apply for funding from Research um, UK sources that helps develop projects with community partners. And that's what we're interested in doing. But what we need to do is to develop those relationships, find out what each other's priorities are, what you want to do, what your ambitions for your organisation are, and what we can do to help. 
how we can turn what you're doing into research, how we can frame it as a research project with priorities, with ambitions, with outcomes, with deliverables, so that we can then apply for funding to support those initiatives. And that is what we're about. I'm uh, delighted that my colleague uh, Indrani Lahiri uh, is uh, so involved with COS and with the community network and has already done so much valuable work um, in uh, energising and setting the agenda for um, this organisation and uh, the way ahead. Um, and we want to do what we can to take that on and to move it forward. So um, I wish you a very good day today, a very positive day, um, uh, with, with uh, positive conversation, positive outlook, um, with creative ideas. And if you have ideas and would like to have further conversations about working collaboratively, not only with myself in creative and heritage industries, but any of my colleagues representing the other research themes, I'm very happy to uh, organise follow-up conversations with you. I can't stay, sadly, for um, today because of other commitments, but I would ask you if you can speak with um, Indrani before uh, you leave, if you'd like to arrange to have further conversations, um, uh, do let us have your contact details and we can take this forward. And together, I really believe that we can, as a community, really make a difference. Thank you very much.